One of our Stop, Think, Connect tips and advice is own your online presence. Can anybody tell me what they think own your online presence means? Yeah. Like control what you put about yourself online. Control what you put about yourself uh, online. I got somebody else Excellent. over here. Excellent. So not pretend to be someone you're not. Not pretend to be someone you're not. Excellent. So yes, you guys are right. Own your online presence means that you should be using the privacy and security settings on platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Tumblr, all the networks that you guys use, to and adjust them to your comfort level for information sharing. So you you know you don't have to be friends with with everybody. You don't have to post photos and let the whole world see. You can really tailor the settings on on these platforms to your comfort level. And you should think about this. Um, you know you don't. You should think twice before you are uploading a photo or checking in, like Michelle said, or even writing a status update. Um, and owning your online presence is especially important for you guys because you're in high school and uh, you're going to go to college, you're going to get a job, you're going to get an apartment, and your future, the colleges and universities that you're applying to, your future employers, maybe even landlords, they're going to be going and looking for your profiles on the internet and they're going to be searching for you and it could really have an impact. So um, I want to ask a question. Raise your hand. How many of you think about what you put online, whether it's photos, videos, status updates, before you actually hit that send or upload button? OK. How, how many of you are going to start doing that now after? OK. Well, yeah, hold, I think, I mean, obviously you all think. You have to, by definition, think to do anything. Um, but I think more than that is, and, and maybe I'm, I hope I'm not cutting no, you off, no. but really consider. So I know a lot of people who just tweet all day long, all the time. Uh, I don't follow them because I find that to be incredibly irritating. But they don't have any filter. They just sort of, they see something or if they think something, they just put it up there, whether it's a review of a movie or what they're eating for lunch or whatever. Um, and same with Instagram, the idea that like, you know, I'm doing this or, or even... You know, I know a lot of people who are on Snapchat and just constantly just like goofing around and sending pictures, and that's cool. But you know, you you really need to just consider just beyond that first post what where that picture could end up, how that could affect you, how it could affect the other people. You know, maybe you're posting a picture of you and other people, and they told their mom they were in the library studying, and now her, their mom's going to see that and know that they're not, and you're going to get them a key version of getting someone else in trouble. But just think about how everything you post and say is going to come back, like they said, potentially in the future, someone's going to find it, never goes away. Um, and I'm, I, so I really do consider, I, I, I reread everything before I post it, just A, for grammar, so I don't make a stupid mistake. And also, I'm a terrible speller. Uh, and also, because I, I want to think about, okay, how would someone who is unhappy respond to this? How is someone who's gay respond to this? Could this be potentially offensive to someone who's older? I, I, you, know, you, you have to train yourself to really think about how everything you put online could be seen by anybody anywhere, and you have no idea how they're going to respond to it. And it represents who you are. And it, and it, it is part of your real-life reputation. So I just encourage you not to just think, but just to really consider your words and how strong they can be and how one person's words can change the course of history. So use them wisely.